Florida, sunshine, beaches, and a mystery? Geologists are scratching their heads. Something strange is happening off the coast. They're worried. Could it be dangerous? People are talking. What's down there? Is it safe to go in the water? Nobody knows for sure. But scientists are working hard to find out. This isn't the first strange thing to happen in these waters. A few months ago, things started getting weird. It began with empty life rafts. These rafts, designed to be a lifeline in emergencies, were now eerily adrift, devoid of any human presence. The sight was haunting, almost as if the sea had swallowed everyone on board, two of them, bobbing out at sea. They seemed to be waiting, but for what? The waves gently rocked them, creating a false sense of calm. The ocean, vast and mysterious, held its secrets tightly. They were supposed to hold people, 35 in each. These rafts were built to save lives, to be a beacon of hope in dire situations, yet here they were, empty and abandoned, a stark contrast to their intended purpose. But they were totally deserted, not a single soul in sight. The silence was deafening, raising more questions than answers. What could have caused such an eerie abandonment? Where did everyone go? The ocean seemed to mock us with its vast emptiness. The rafts, once a symbol of safety, now floated aimlessly, a grim reminder of the unknown fate of their passengers. Then came the tar. A new mystery, dark and sticky, began to unfold. Black, gooey tar started washing up on the beaches. Yuck. It was everywhere. This thick, viscous substance clung to everything it touched, turning pristine shores into sticky wastelands. People couldn't even walk on the sand. Beaches had to close. Tourists were not happy. These once popular destinations were now off-limits, their beauty marred by the relentless tar. These events seem unconnected, but are they? Could they be clues to something bigger? Investigators and curious onlookers scoured the beaches searching for answers. Every piece of tar, every empty raft was a potential clue in this unfolding mystery. Something happening beneath the waves? The ocean with its hidden depths seemed to hold the key. What secrets lay beneath the surface waiting to be discovered? The answers, it seemed, were just out of reach, lurking in the deep. Let's go back to the beginning. Florida, known for its beautiful beaches and vibrant coastal life, has always been a place of wonder and mystery. But in recent years, a series of strange events have unfolded, leaving both residents and scientists baffled. In December 2024, the life rafts were found near Cape Canaveral. These weren't just any life rafts, they were old, weathered, and seemingly abandoned. The discovery raised many questions. Where did they come from? Who left them there? And why were they found so close to one of the most significant space launch sites in the world? That's where rockets launch into space. Was it a coincidence? The proximity of the life rafts to the launch site led to wild speculations. Some believed it was a sign, a message from the unknown. Others thought it might be linked to secret missions or even extraterrestrial activities. The mystery deepened, as more details emerged. Two months later, the tar balls hit. These sticky black clumps of oil began washing up on the shores, causing alarm among environmentalists and locals alike. The tar balls were not just an eyesore, they posed a significant threat to marine life and the local ecosystem. They stretched from Port Everglades all the way to Palm Beach. That's a huge area. The sheer scale of the pollution was unprecedented. Cleanup efforts were massive, involving hundreds of volunteers and professionals. The origin of the tar balls remained a mystery, adding to the growing list of strange occurrences. What could cause such a widespread problem? Speculations ranged from oil spills to underwater volcanic activity. Some even suggested it could be linked to the life rafts found earlier. The connections were tenuous but the coincidences were hard to ignore. The timing, the locations, it all seemed too strange to ignore. The events were happening in quick succession, and the affected areas were all along Florida's coastline. It was as if an unseen force was at play, orchestrating these bizarre incidents. Could these events be linked to the mysterious discovery geologists had made? Just a few weeks before the life rafts were found, geologists had uncovered unusual rock formations along the coast. These rocks contained rare minerals and showed signs of ancient, unexplained activity. The discovery added another layer to the enigma, suggesting that the answers might lie deep beneath the surface. The Coast Guard sprang into action, they're like the detectives of the sea. They searched for clues, they examined the life rafts, they tested the tar, they wanted answers. Local police helped out too, they interviewed people, they checked security cameras. They looked for anything unusual, but so far nothing added up. The Coast Guard is still investigating, they're not giving up. 
but they need more information. They're asking anyone who knows anything to come forward. Worries on the shoreline. The mysterious events have people on edge. The once bustling shoreline filled with laughter and joy now echoes with uncertainty and fear. Families who used to spend their weekends here are now hesitant, unsure of what lies beneath the waves. The air is thick with tension and the usual sounds of seagulls and crashing waves are overshadowed by hushed conversations and worried murmurs. The beaches are usually a place to relax and have fun. Children build sandcastles, couples stroll hand in hand and friends gather for beach volleyball. It's a sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of daily life, a place where memories are made and worries are left behind. The golden sands and azure waters have always been a symbol of peace and happiness. Now, there's a sense of unease in the air. Businesses are worried too. The local economy, heavily reliant on tourism, is taking a hit. Shop owners stand outside their empty stores watching the deserted streets with a heavy heart. The once vibrant boardwalk is now eerily quiet, with only the occasional passerby casting a glance at the closed signs. Beach closures mean lost income, hotels are empty, restaurants are quiet, people are staying away, the ripple effect is felt throughout the community. From the lifeguards who no longer have a job to the local artisans who depend on tourist sales, everyone is feeling the pinch. The once thriving beach town is now a ghost town with empty streets and shuttered windows. How long can they survive? The question lingers in the air, unspoken but ever-present. Each day brings more uncertainty, and the community is left grappling with the unknown. The resilience of the people is being tested, and the future seems more uncertain than ever. The lifeguard towers, once symbols of safety and vigilance, now stand empty, a stark reminder of the current crisis. Everyone is hoping for answers. Community meetings are held, with residents gathering to voice their concerns and seek solutions. The local authorities are doing their best to provide information but the situation remains fluid. News reporters flock to the scene capturing the anxiety and desperation of the people. The community stands united, but the weight of the unknown is heavy on their shoulders. They want to know what's happening and if it's safe. Scientists are brought in to test the waters, hoping to find answers that will bring some relief. The local authorities address the crowd trying to reassure them, but the fear is palpable. The residents look to the horizon searching for signs of hope, but the answers remain elusive. The once clear waters are now a source of dread, and the community is left in limbo. But for now, they're stuck with more questions than answers. The days stretch on, and the uncertainty grows. Families sit on the beach, staring out at the vast ocean, their minds filled with worry. The aerial shots of the empty coastline paint a picture of desolation. The community waits, hoping for a resolution but for now, they must navigate this storm of uncertainty together. Gap 3, S, what's going on? Theories abound. Some people think it's pollution, maybe an oil spill, others think it's something natural, a change in ocean currents perhaps. Some even whisper about more outlandish possibilities. Something to do with the Bermuda Triangle, or even aliens? It's Florida after all. While the imagination runs wild, scientists are urging caution. They need evidence, not speculation. Only then can they begin to understand what's truly happening. Scientists search for answers. Geologists are studying the ocean floor. They're using special equipment to map the area. They're looking for anything unusual, any changes that could explain the strange events. Marine biologists are analyzing the tar. They're trying to determine its source. Is it from a natural seep or could it be from human activity? The scientific community is working tirelessly. They're sharing information and collaborating. They're determined to get to the bottom of this mystery. The mystery continues. For now, the mystery remains unsolved. The empty life rafts, the gooey tar, the strange discovery beneath the waves. It's a puzzle with no easy answers, but one thing is for sure, this story isn't over yet. The search for answers will continue, and as new information comes to light, the world will be watching and waiting.